One minute. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Mr. Mr. Speaker, America's youth are in crisis. According to a recently released report by the CDC, more than one in five LGBTQ youth teenagers have attempted suicide in 2021. One in three teenage girls seriously considered suicide in that year. It should be no surprise that students are struggling in a country where certain politicians refuse to regulate the guns that kill their classmates and fight to ban books that tell their stories. There's a mental health crisis throughout our country that we need to address now. President Biden and Democrats in Congress enacted the Restoring Hope for Mental Health and Wellbeing Act to save lives by expanding access to mental health and substance abuse disorder treatment. And now my Republican friends are calling to cut federal funding to fiscal year 22 levels, slashing funding for vital youth mental health programs when the assistance they provided is so desperately needed. For too long, Americans struggling with mental illness and substance abuse have suffered in silence, intimidated by stigma, stigma and unable to access treatment. We must change this. And I invite my Republican friends to join us as we fight to change this in the country for our young people. And with that, I yield back.